here today to tell the story of how my dogs found cancer. It all started back in last October when I was in the kitchen and Bea kept jumping on me and really butting into my breast. And to be honest, I got quite annoyed with her because it, it was hurting. So I started examining my breast, but I couldn't, couldn't find anything. And, but over the next few weeks, she kept doing this numerous times. And eventually, it must have been at least six or eight weeks later, I, I felt my breast and I could feel a lump in my breast. And I panicked and called my husband and he checked and yes, he, we could feel a lump. So I went up to the doctors and immediately, I would say within a week, they got me into our mammogram. So originally they just thought it was going to be a small lump that they could see on the mammogram. But by the time I'd gone on holidays and come back, I knew myself that it spread to my lymph nodes because I was in real pain and all my arm was swollen. It was a very invasive cancer, it was fast moving and that I would now need to have chemotherapy, then an operation and then radiotherapy, which I started having last November. So after six months of chemo, I had the lump removed. Eventually, I went back down three days later and they'd got the results. And the, spe uh, the surgeon came in to me and said, well, she said, it's not often we have a result as good as this, she said. You're very lucky. She said, we can't find any trace of cancer in the lump area that we removed. And the lymph nodes, six were free, cancer-free, and five were pre-malignant. She said, you're a very lucky girl, and she said, I'm telling you now, go home and give your dogs a real big hug from me, because the, your dogs probably saved your life. She said, the fact we found it so early, it was an aggressive form, and it would have spread quickly. So she said, the fact your dogs alerted you so quickly could have been the difference between where else this cancer spread, she said to me. Mm -hmm.